You know, I feel like smart rings have become a lot more prominent in my life recently. Like, I think it was only maybe less than five months ago that I had never owned a smart ring, and now I've owned like four. <laughs> and today is no exception because right here is the RingCon Gen 2. Now, first, I wanted to thank RingCon for actually sponsoring this video. And so, because of that, this is not going to be like a fully opinionated review, but more of a product showcase. So, let's Let's see what this thing is all about. Now, I actually had the opportunity to test out RingCon's first generation smart ring, and this one already had a lot going for it. Like, not only was the smart ring less expensive than many of its competitors, but it also didn't have a subscription fee. And it's actually the first smart ring that I've ever used that comes with a charging case. But now we have their Gen 2 smart ring, which is not only thinner and lighter with better battery life, but now this is actually the first ever smart ring that has sleep apnea monitoring. But let's step back a little bit and go over what this ring can actually do. So like most smart rings, this is essentially a health and fitness tracker. So if we look at the app here, we can see we have different metrics from our sleep score to our activity score to our stress levels to our heart rate. And so up front on the homepage, you can see it's a pretty simple interface, but you can actually tap into each one of these metrics to get even more metrics. So like, say you want to see exactly what contributed to your sleep score. Well, then you can tap in and you'll find different data points and graphs and different things that it tracked that contributed to that score. And I can do the same thing with these other metrics. Like if I want to see exactly what contributed to my activity, I can tap in and see my steps and my active calories and my activity intensity. And then if we go into the heart rate section, you can see that it's not just tracking our beats per minute, but it's also tracking our heart rate variability and our oxygen saturation. And actually back to the sleep section, you can see it's also measuring skin temperature. And by the way, if you're ever confused about what certain data points mean, they have a bunch of different like information bubbles that you can tap that'll give you information about what they mean. So as you can see, just by wearing a small ring on your finger, you're collecting all of this data that you can use to hopefully <laughs> improve your health. But one thing that is different from every other smart ring on the market currently is the sleep apnea monitor. Now, most of the metrics with this ring are measured automatically throughout your whole day, but this sleep apnea monitoring is actually a manual one. So essentially what you do when you decide that you want to monitor for sleep apnea is when you go to bed, you activate it and then leave the app on. You can turn off your phone screen, but just make sure you leave the app open. And then throughout the night, it's gonna detect what they call sleep apnea events. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know exactly what that means. I'm just a guy who likes tech. And based on how many of these events occur during the night, it can determine whether you have no sleep apnea, mild, moderate, or severe sleep apnea. Now, based on internal testing, RingCon is claiming that this is over 90% accurate for sleep apnea monitoring, and they're currently seeking FDA approval for it. So I guess uh, keep a lookout, and I'm sure RingCon will make some sort of announcement if they're able to get that full FDA approval. Now, I did actually try to test if I have sleep apnea, and Thankfully, I do not, but if you're somebody who thinks that you might, this could be a good tool to just like test and see if maybe you do. Now, one thing I will say about all of this health and activity tracking is it can track workouts. However, it can't automatically track workouts. You have to actually start a workout and then it'll start tracking it. And though it can't track specific workouts automatically, it will still continue, of course, tracking your steps and your general activity. You know, like I showed you earlier, how vigorous your activity was throughout the day. Now, moving on to the actual hardware of this ring, this actually has some pretty significant advantages to some other smart rings on the market. So first of all, RingCon actually told me that this is the thinnest and lightest smart ring on the market. So at its thinnest point, it is two millimeters. And depending on the size that you get, this weighs two to three grams. This ring is also IP68 water and dust resistance along with having 100 ATM certification, meaning that it can go up to 100 meters underwater. I don't know if I would ever go 100 meters underwater, but this could. Another really big thing with this ring is battery life. So actually their previous generation ring had up to seven days of battery life, which is good, but this one can actually get up to 12 days of battery life. Now, RingCon is saying that it's 10 to 12 days, depending on the ring size that you get, but I have 
a size 11, which I believe is in the 11 day battery range according to them. But I mean, I've been using for the ring for nearly five and a half days, wearing it 24 seven, and I'm currently at 57% battery. So actually it might be possible. I might hit that full 12 days with my size 11. Now just a quick note on that. I do think that using the sleep apnea monitoring will decrease the battery life, but also that's not gonna be something you're doing every single night, I think. But yeah, in general usage, battery life is the best that I have seen, but that's not where it stops. Because just like their first generation smart ring, this also comes with a charging case, which brings the total battery life up to 150 days. So yeah, essentially, I guess you could literally be out in the middle of the woods, not connected to power and use this ring for five months. Now, if you are curious if this ring is compatible with your phone's operating system, well, the answer is yes, because this is available on both iOS and Android. And by the way, this also has no subscription. Now I know a lot of you are gonna wonder how much this ring actually costs. And so the price point is $300 again with no subscription. And that price point is either lower than a lot of the competitors or the same price as some of the competitors, but again, with no subscription. But anyways, huge thanks again to RingCon for sponsoring this video. And if you guys wanna check out this ring for yourself, I will go ahead and put a link in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.